Hey, my name's Alyssa Tisdale and this is my story. Growing up, I was always in church. My granddaddy was a preacher the whole time he was alive, so I was always there. I always came with my dad here. I wasn't a bad kid. I was always doing the right thing, hanging out with the right people. And then in high school, I switched schools. Started out hanging out with the wrong crowd. I ended up starting to get into drugs with the wrong crowd. Ended up dropping out of school my senior year. I moved out of my dad's house right after I dropped out. That was in November, December, I found out. Well, December I turned 18, and then January 2nd, I found out I was pregnant. And me and Justin stayed together. While I was pregnant with Braden, I had Braden, and then the following year, we got married in March. When me and Justin got married, we weren't really in church. Daddy invited us to come, but we made excuses or had better things to do. He didn't have the perfect crowd of friends. Um, I didn't really hang out with any friends. I didn't have any girlfriends, so I hung out with his friends. It was a really, really bad time of my life. I remember sitting there one night looking around at everybody I was sitting with, feeling God tug on my heart and tell me that I could be the one sitting there witnessing to all of them, but instead I was sitting there doing the same thing with them. It made me mad that I felt that way and I felt guilty. I kept shutting it out. He tried to get my attention two or three more times and I kept shutting him out. I remember one day I was sitting there thinking and I was like, well, I don't feel God tugging at me anymore. I was happy about it. It's not something to be happy about, and I don't know why at the time I was, but I was happy he didn't make me feel guilty because I was doing what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do things right, and I knew the whole time what I was doing was wrong. But when you have drugs in your life, your God isn't so much a part of your life as much as the devil is. and. He will tell you things to make you think that you're doing the right thing, what you're doing is okay. But the good thing about Jesus is he has an unconditional love for you. The good thing I've came to realize is he can, no matter what, bring peace to your past. He forgives you for everything you've done. I got invited to come to church by my parents, Chris and Tammy Davis. Two Sundays ago, or Saturday, uh, it was my son's birthday, and they asked me to come stay with them and go to church with them on Sunday. And Justin was out of town, and I wasn't too sure about it. It was the first time I'd been would be going to church in a long time. I said all right, and I stayed with them, and I came to church. Brother Jamie was preaching on the devil's devices. That message spoke to me more than anything. Um, I felt God the whole time I was here. Uh, and it was a great feeling. It was a feeling that I hadn't felt in a really long time. Nothing in this world could amount to how good I felt that Sunday in church. When he did the altar call, um, I had raised my hand and prayed the prayer and asked to be saved. and. I wanted it, and I knew I wanted it, and as soon as he said whoever needed to come to the altar, it was like God had his arm around me and pulled me to the altar with him. I think I was the first person up there. Jamie's wife, Brandy, prayed over me, and Tammy, and Allie, and I'm not sure who else was there, but I felt God right there beside us. It was the best feeling to feel him right there. Um, before I was saved, I wasn't strong enough when I would come into situations that I needed God to be there and guide me through. And since I've been saved, I can feel him there with me. Coming through a hard situation is anything to me anymore. I can see people I used to hang out with and tell them I'm saved, I don't do that anymore. Let them know that unless they want to talk to me or just be my friend, 
I don't want anything to do with them. I'm leaving that part of my life behind me and I'm moving forward. I'm on the, the right track with God again. I love it. I'm getting baptized today because to me, getting baptized is an outward sign of the inner change God has done in my life.